tightening the squeeze on Vladimir Putin's inner circle. President Biden targeting a new group of oligarchs today, as well as some of their relatives and close associates, blocking their travel to the U.S., moving to seize their assets. Yachts and jets seized. While inside Russia tonight, the ruble has now lost half of its value. ABC's James Longman now from Moscow. Tonight, America's economic assault on Russia's elite ramps up a gear. The White House hoping financial pain will force Putin to end his war. Among those targeted in new sanctions are Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov and oligarchs Nikolai Tokarev and Alisher Usmanov, some of Russia's wealthiest people and close Putin allies. Usmanov's super yacht seized by Germany, his private jet now banned in the US, both estimated to be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. The goal was to maximize the impact on Putin and Russia and to minimize the harm on us and our allies and friends around the world. The U.S. is also blocking at least 19 oligarchs and 47 of their relatives and close associates from traveling to the United States. Overseas, the European Union is already taking action against Putin's circle. This 280-foot yacht owned by the CEO of state oil company Rosneft seized in the south of France. The U.S. and its allies are going after the oligarchs, Russia's richest, because they believe Putin's closest, wealthiest friends might have the most influence. Think mafia, where everybody kisses the ring of the boss, and he makes lots and lots of money. By sanctioning them, we are putting pressure on all of Putin's ruling kleptocracy. In 2017, one estimate put Putin's own worth at over $200 billion. And tonight, eight days into the war, the Russian ruble has lost nearly half of its value. One ruble now worth a little less than one cent on the dollar. And James joined us now from Moscow again tonight. And James, you have been reporting here for several days now on this TV station critical of the Russian government. That's very rare, obviously, inside Russia. They've been threatened with being taken down and it's now signed off for the last time. Yeah, that's right. Their final broadcast was actually Swan Lake, hugely symbolic as it was the ballet shown on state TV in 1991 that marked the final fall of the Soviet Union. Press freedoms are in the balance tomorrow. A new law will be debated here that essentially makes broadcasting news the government doesn't agree with punishable by up to 15 years in jail. David. An extraordinary move there in Russia tonight. James Longman, our thanks to you again. And Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.